Welcome back to the kitchen, little chefs. We are today going to make something buttery, flaky, delicious scones. So we start to scones by mixing both the flour that we sent in your kit and also we have a little envelope called the baking blend ends. That's where the sugar, baking powder, and salt are. So you're gonna need a medium bowl, a whisk, and uh, we can whisk this away. And why did we separate those two things? Well, we separated for you so little chefs have a little bit more to do. And this is fun. So my dry ingredients are ready, very simple. Now I'm gonna prepare my wet ingredients. So we need to measure a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream. A big secret of scones is a lot of fat. Um, cream, butter, egg yolk. Then we are going to separate that egg white and egg yolk and uh, it's a perfect job for our little chefs. And I like to get like wet and uh, get my hands in there and use my fingers to just grab the yolk. I'm adding this here. So here I'm going to mix the cream and the egg yolk just enough that you have one uniform color. So the yolk is totally dissolved inside the cream. And we're gonna set this aside. So what we're doing right now is called mise en place. And mise en place is to get all the elements of our recipe ready. So I have the baking blend-ins whisked together. I have the cream and the egg, the egg yolk whisked together. And now we need four tablespoons of butter or a half a stick of butter. And in this case, let me show you what I did. It's really, I think it would be really helpful if you cube the butter, if you cut it up into small pieces, kind of like pea-sized pieces, okay? And here is a fun project for my young chefs out there. So as you have these little cubes of butter, you're gonna, you can play like hiding them into the flour. So we're gonna add them to the flour separately. And then, so here, I hit them in the flour, I sprinkle them up, and uh, you can use your fingers to pinch them and crumble them one by one. So that's a fun kind of way to get really tactile here. You can also use a fork and uh, smash them at the bottom of this bowl. But the important thing is you're using cold butter uh, and you are crumbling that butter so it starts to get a little bit like the consistency of like a thick sand. Uh, when we're baking scones, a big thing is if we can leave the butter slightly solid, if we don't get our fingers too much in the dough, if we don't over mix the dough, we will have a much more kind of flaky, and crumbly scone, that's what we want. So the job of my young chefs is to get through this flour and make sure that every little cube of butter has been crumbled. Now, do you remember that cream and egg yolk that we pre-prepared? That's gonna be the next step to mix the wet and the dry ingredients. And for that, I'm just making a little well right in the middle. And I'm gonna pour my cream in there. All right, very important tip here. You don't want to over mix this dough, okay? So I'm using my fork and I'm kind of like folding the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients without over mixing. And you say, why Chef Vanessa you don't, you don't wanna over mix? 
Well, you don't want to activate the gluten, which is the protein, which is kind of something that forms a mesh and get it to be bready and flexible. You don't want to do that in this case. A lot of our recipes, we talk about activating the gluten. Here, you want to keep it nice and crumbly. So do not over mix, okay? So I'm slowly mixing it just to make sure that uh, everything comes together. Okay. So see that you're not seeing a uniform dough here. It's not like everything is like nice and smooth. No, we don't want that. We just barely let it come together. And let's set this aside for one moment. The next step is I'm gonna prepare my surface so I can dump that dough in here and uh, bring it together. So you will find in your kit something called fairy dust. And all that is, it is some all-purpose flour. I actually already have opened a pack and I have some here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on my surface and dump this dough that we barely put together. You see how crumbly it is? It's not all together. That's how we want it. Beautiful. Okay, so here, carefully with my fingers. And uh, if it's sticking to your fingers, you can always get in a little bit of flour. I'm gonna patch this together into a ball, then a disc that is about five inches wide and about an inch tall. Beautiful. Perfect. This is pretty much ready to be cut and then for the next step before we bake it. Beautiful.